Good evening. My name is Unico Williams, and we're back with another episode of What's New 99 News. I'm here joined today with my co-host, Zelme. Thank you, Unico. We're doing the news now. It's time for the big show. Before we get into our show today, I just want to make sure that we just take some time out to have a moment of silence for Chris Rock's mom, who allegedly felt the slap. Do you have barbecue that's so good it makes you want to slap your mama through the sun? The best moment of silence we can give y'all. Listen, man, now the jokes is over. Give me a second. I need to do my little special. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? I'm Unico Umar. And I've seen, now I've saw, now I've saw a viral TikTok go out where we have some of our queens being grabbed by the neck of the conquerors. For well, those that. that don't know, there is a new TikTok trend between mixed couples that is essentially playing a part of a new popular song where they hold either hair or the thing and then they say massa and to the kids it's a joke but I don't, I don't educate your children on history and why that's not good to do when it can lead to bad precedents uh we tried that in the 70s unico and uh yeah that we almost went back and we don't even try that no more as the pan as the prince of pan africanism as the prince of pan africanism as the prince of pan africanism i rebuke this behavior i rebuke this this behavior that they're putting on here in the name of black the jesus and likes nobody like that. nobody likes that nobody wants to see that our queens are lost our queens are lost our queens are lost and I don't ever want to see you make mention of this coonery ever again. Oh, wow. That's a wild trend. These trends are getting more out of hand just to go viral, right? Like, are we going to talk about these trends being outrageous then? I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't, like, what? So, like, I see, like, TikTok is so full of so, so much, like, wild, random stuff. Like, I remember seeing a trend where they'd be like, you know, uh, the key to a good home, four plus four is this or whatever, blah, blah, blah. And then they say, now nah, that the black people aren't watching. And then they'll like, act like they hanging themselves or picking cotton or something stupid like that, right? That was a trend at some point. TikTok, um, I think that TikTok does a pretty good job of trying to keep that type of stuff off of their platform. But some of this, some of the stuff still creeps in, man. And the, the worst part about it is still, it's, it's, the, it's the youth. It's, it's the like kids, kids it's not and around I, black I, people. You can tell dude, it's like, okay, I can tell you, friend. Yeah. I can tell you. I know. You know what like, you I, I can tell you. Yeah. I can tell you. I know you what you mean. A very nice house in the suburb. Yeah, and and you know what? Hey, this is a quick story about that. Um, I met a I met a I met a, a woman in in San Diego one time, and man, she was one of the most beautiful girls I ever I've ever seen. But she, I, I the way she dressed, I could tell that like she she was with she she was with the light skinned folk growing up. And um, man, I don't, she didn't know she didn't know how bad she was, man. And you know, until Unico had to let her know. So, with that being said, man, uh, a lot of people in those situations, what they say, what the, what that girl from uh, that Kravis girl say, she said that she, she used to have to tell the uh, the predominantly white school that she was in. She used to have to tell them that I, I'm 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 just as white as you. So, but these TikToks here is people that we can know that your, your mama and your daddy both black, man. What's going on here? And I don't think that they would it's, approve of this behavior. It's weird because like they like it's a joke. It's funny. I'm like, do you know how? You know what? Like, do you know how dangerous that is actually? Like, you, like, like. Yeah, that's 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 funny yeah, to that's people funny that might racist. think like that. Yeah, if your audience, if your audience is is like the people that we're telling you about. Speaking of people, I've been warning y'all about. We have Dumb and Dumber back at it again, telling the women that they should delete their Instagram to win. They are in a relationship. Unico, I just love the fact how Dumb and Dumber always speak on things that have nothing to do, in a sense, with them. Um, essentially, what they were trying to say is that you know. It's not as 
So if you look like Dumb and Dumber, if you just have an Instagram, you just show your face all the time, you probably not going to make no money off of it. There, hence, you should be you should be a little apprehensive about your woman having an Instagram. Um, if she especially if she looks good because we know your status is the only thing that's probably getting y'all some getting y'all the looks that y'all get anyway y'all got status now i'll give you that that's cool that happens that's how it works but i can definitely understand if you pull your girl off of instagram you know that other people are probably thinking the same thing and you want them to shut it down i mean i understand that uh, it, women have a very easier a much easier time selling things uh with, with their sexuality that's a good point but telling your woman and y'all in a relationship no you can't have an instagram but i'm gonna have one yeah, it's child cool. please man like they, they'll like they'll gaze it in like a weird point that's true and just hide it between those points like like yes that's a true point that you just made but what does that have to do with we just talked about this on man cave if y'all go watch it yeah from yesterday literally what does that have mm -hmm. to do with the topic hey and and, and and why is so and why this is so troubling to me um i actually uh uh i i, I had this this uh multiracial uh gal that i was very fond of and um she had this she had this light-skinned guy that she was dealing with and then you know it was dude's ideal for her to you know hey your TikTok is popping yo start only fans do all this stuff and then she started seeing he started seeing the quality of men that were in her inbox the ones that are treat her right and um yeah he tried to shut that down real quick so yes. i'm just saying man our queens man so we got some queens out there my biracial queens man come on we here we still here we still want you. whole point is you set these weird standards because you say it's like easier for yeah. them to make money when when like y'all make more mm. money than all of them <laughs> so you're like mm -hmm. like i'm the bread when i'm here to protect you bro y'all can't fight like what are you doing? Literally, uh, hey, what's the? Hey, he like a like a fed? Like I'm just maybe he got connects with the police. Maybe he can't protect you. Hey, girl, listen, I he work with six nine, I'm whack one. <laughs> but but yeah, basically, yo man, you can't just tell people that they can't have an Instagram. And I get your points. I get it. Dumb and Dumb and made some good fair points. You probably don't want your girl on that thirst trap and if really? she your girl. I'm like, hey, can you chill on that? Then y'all too to the say something. I'm like, no, nah, I'm like, now nah, you, you with me now. You ain't got, you ain't, yeah. You only, you only doing that for attention. If you just doing it for attention, I mean, you don't want attention from me. You want attention from somebody else. We got a problem that's cool. But to say you can't even have an Instagram at all because men DM you is but we know the story between it. They very insecure, scared, and probably ran into some money and finally got girls. And then they, that's they how that happened. Look secure. Like, you can't have no Instagram. You can't even another dude on your Instagram. We we gonna break up if a dude DM you. I'm like, bro, I can't help if a dude DM me. What you want me to do about it? Like, I'm attractive. You got me, shouldn't it? Like, that's how you <laughs> supposed to saying? take like, it for what? sure. Speaking of insecure, Joe. Don't you have another story? I do. Um, and actually, this doesn't like this isn't about you, the person I'm about to mention. We want to give a big shout out to Barefoot Tasha for for bringing attention to the fact that Snickers, they wasn't trying to go as hard as they usually do. But now they've decided because of all the attention that has garnered that that, that Snickers is going to go as hard as it can and keep one of its most beloved yes pictures. they lost the Tell insecurity me. joe shout out to tasha for showing for her performance <laughs> enhancing speech that i very much appreciate from a queen herself keeping the hopes of that fox business and fox news all responded to and snickers made a joke and yeah. twix said can we um bump and it was uh twitter was elon musk bought twitter twitter a wild place I, and also I want, back. I want listen i want you all to 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 figure out and, and tune in to the next episode of just a fan where that where our 99 media and the guys get together and we're gonna talk about what is the future of twitter now that the santa's ain't gonna let people in, now that the santa's ain't gonna let people in florida months. do nothing <laughs> they can't <laughs> get on twitter no more you're gonna take the computer <laughs> man it's gonna be the most free censored thing I've Unless ever seen in my life. Your computer whatever, with. I'm here for it. Somebody, somebody's judging, 
Somebody's got it. Somebody's got to judge society and make us. Who the fuck is the guy that got algorithms for his kids, man? That guy should be trusted. Hey, anybody name algorithm on some real stuff? They do do me a favor. Um, all my YouTube shows me is suggestions for uh, First Amendment audits, and I enjoy watching those. I enjoy people just walking around filming stuff, and just the police don't know what to do. And then you get to see, this, like, hey, tell me you got anything? That's a fun show, amazing show, lots in the news. What's new? Nine Nine News will update you throughout the week on anything that's happened. Probably more serious than the meme show, which is today's show, but it's gonna be a good time. We thank you all for tuning in.